to my channel it is your girl jasmine has seen if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's good we're back with a new video you guys this one obviously you see the title of the video and the thumbnail Chow, yeah, this one's gonna be a good one i don't know obviously i haven't done my hair yet so i don't know what to expect but it's gonna be interesting and it's gonna be a fun wild ride so if you guys are excited for this video then obviously make sure you keep watching shout out to curls queen curls queen for sponsoring today's video i'm gonna actually be installing my own micro links eye tips um whichever you refer to them as but i'm gonna be installing them on myself today you guys know i'm diy queen i mean i looked into getting a, them professionally installed but that price point is just a little high for me right now and honestly i feel like it's something that i can do by myself i've watched a ton of youtube videos i went to youtube university and yeah so we're just gonna tackle this on our own at home diy do it yourself okay diy jasmine diy that scene okay yeah so if you guys are excited to see me install my own my own micro links um then make sure you keep watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe at any point throughout the video i love you guys and yeah let's just get right into her inside of your beautiful gold silk curls queen bag you're gonna have a little like mesh baggie this is actually super cute um but inside of here is gonna be all of your tools that you're gonna need in order to install your micro links there's a curls queen brush it's so funny because i already grabbed the one i already have the name has like kind of rubbed off i use this all the time um but i grabbed that to use but yeah you're gonna have a new one in your little kit you're gonna have some claw clips these are so cute they're blue and then a comb literally everything you need like i grabbed some of this stuff but i just realized like i'm the kit is going to come with everything that you need in order to install them at home so that's perfect there is a plier set of pliers and then the little beads that you're going to use along with the hoop loopy thing you guys will later on find out what that does these little like velcro things are to keep your hair like sectioned away and parted away from each other and then there's a bonnet they always send a little bonnet super cute so that's everything that comes in there and then of course you're gonna get your hair i'm gonna have the specs for the hair on the screen because i don't remember the exact length or how many grams i have here so this is how much hair it smells good though it smells like it's freshly shampooed which i like um let me take one of them out of the bag if you guys remember my tape ins video that i did a couple of months ago with curls queen i had like a tighter curl texture it was like a deep curly and although like i made it work i felt like the curls were a little bit too tight for my natural like curl pattern i felt like there was more of a distinction so this time around i asked for a looser curl still curly hair but it's definitely a looser curl it's a bit bigger and i just i just think that this is gonna work better for me i watched a couple of videos i was watching my girl lovely brianna she recently installed some micro links on herself and they looked really good really natural so i was watching her videos and a couple of other people i'll link them down in the description box um, for anyone else that wants to check out which videos I referenced. Last time I installed the tape-ins on um, blown out hair, but this time I'm gonna be installing them in my natural texture, in my curly hair. I washed my hair yesterday and just threw it back in a slicked bun. Like a little bit of gel, but honestly that's not bad. Like it's still damp because I washed it last night. Yeah, and if I can't do the back, I'm gonna be calling for assistance. I will literally call Mona up be too difficult but I'm just gonna start off by creating my sections yeah so I wear my hair in the middle part that's like very standard for me I'm also going to switch to doing a voiceover because I need to listen to music while I do this okay so I'm starting out by sectioning my hair in four so I split it all the way down the middle and then the two half pieces I'm splitting down the middle as well. I'm a little tongue tied, it's a little early for me. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this so that I can obviously be able to split it down the middle if I need to, like in two braids or two ponytails or whatever. 
or if I want to be able to do half up, half down, which I know I'm going to want to do. So that's why I'm splitting it in four sections. And it's also just going to make it easier on me with installing these micro links on myself. So yeah, after I did that, I'm going in and I'm sec sectioning out my edges. And I'm going to do this around the whole perimeter of my head. But I'm just showing you this front section here because that's what we're working with right now. I'm using, I first used my finger, but then I was like, girl, use the comb. So using the comb, the rat toe comb, to make sure that you can't see it through. If you check with the rat toe comb, you can still see it. You got to take more hair out, sis, because then that means that your beads will be showing. So did that section. And this is obviously so that I can put my hair up in a full ponytail or bun if I choose to do so. Um... Micro links are basically like a braidless sew-in, so I want to be able to do all of these styles because I'm probably going to have them in for a while, and yeah. Um, so I'm sectioning out this front section, checked, it did not pass the comb test, so I went back in and I had to take more hair out, checked again, it passed! So now I can, you know, twist that back section up that we're going to be working with for a minute so I can braid this down, and then we can start working on things. I just ended up braiding the two braids together and then just clipping it towards the back for later. Okay, so this is the section that we're working with. This is the loop tool that we're gonna be using. These are the beads for the microlinks and the pliers that all come in your kit. I'm going to section out this first row and I want my parts to be straight so I'm making sure to be, you know, try to be as crisp and specific as possible. Then I'm going to take that little Velcro thingy and that really, really helped with sectioning my hair out and like keeping the hair away from each other. Um, and then I'm loading up the loop tool with as many beads as can fit and then I'm taking the first bead this is the first time i was doing it sliding it on i kept this in because i messed up and i wanted you guys to see how i messed up but i went ahead and i put beads down the whole row the sections that i was grabbing in this first row were actually too thick there was like too much hair so the bead fit on but once i went to go and slide that first eye tip in the hair actually pushed the bead like Part. So if you look at the beads closely, there's actually a rubber on the inside of the bead. That's what protects your hair from getting damaged with the eye tip being squeezed together with the pliers. So I had to take off the beads and start, um, start again. I needed a thinner row. So if you're trying to stick your eye tip in and it's not fitting because you have too much of your hair within the bead, then it's going to separate. So it's easy to put it back together, but... That was just something that I obviously learned from the gym because I, I did it wrong as soon as I started. But you guys can learn from my mistakes. So I had to split, take those beads off and split the section in half and then try again. And I did it right. So I will say that this was like super easy to do. I feel like if you're not someone who typically like does your hair or you don't really know how to do hair, but you feel like you're confident in following directions, you'd be able to do this. I think two friends could do this on each other easily. You know, two sisters, a mother and a daughter. Like, honestly, if you've ever wanted to try microlinks and you think that it's like something that's really hard, it's honestly not. I found this to be easier, like the method, than tapins. Cause like tapins have to be placed a certain way on your head so that you, one, don't see them because they're whole tapes and also so that they sit comfortably on your head. These, I feel like a lot more hidden. And I mean, you just have to like know how you want your hair parted so that you don't see them. And I feel like you could do them. It's really not that hard. I was surprised because I thought I was gonna have a hard time, especially when I got to the back of my head. But it was, it worked really well. So that was my first row, flipped it up. One of them was a little bit too close to my scalp. So if you place it too close too close to your scalp, you're gonna feel a, like a slight tension. So you can actually unsqueeze it, slide it down, s squeeze it back, um, which I ended up doing. But this is me doing the second row. 
And after that, I was like, okay, so don't put them too close to your scalp, because then obviously when you flip them up or they move around or you try to lay on them or whatever, you're gonna feel it, it's gonna be uncomfortable. This is me showing you guys up close. So you see how small of a section I'm grabbing? Like you want it to be enough hair to where the bead slides on, doesn't move around, but you don't want it to be too much hair to where the eye tip doesn't fit in. And then you just slide the eye tip in, take the pliers and squeeze it together. And it squeezes really, like really easily. I was like being extra hard in the beginning for no reason. It's the slightest little pinch and then it's good to go. And it's literally not going anywhere. Um, yeah, and it was so simple. I was so surprised and I was like, wow, this is gonna look good. Like, I'm actually really impressed. So I did that whole, you know, first section, worked my way all the way up to my middle part. You wanna obviously leave a section closest to your middle part, like a row or, or two. I left like two rows with no micro links, no beads, because you wanna be able to not see them all the way up into the part. And you want the hair to be thick enough to where when you flip it back over, it's hidden, which it was, which I was so happy about. Um, so yeah, this was the first section. Look at all them beads. Look at all them micro links. It looked really good. I was like, whoa, this is gonna be fire. Like once I do my whole head, it was just time consuming. This first section literally took two hours. Two hours. Benson being a big old baby, look at him, he wanted cuddles. When, I, when I'm when i working for like too long on my computer, on my desk or whatever, he literally comes and he's like, did you forget about me? Like he just wants to cuddle, so that's what that was. Um, but I took out that, I flipped the top section over, so this is my middle part. Still got my edges braided away, but it looked good. I was like, wow, I'm actually so impressed. Like this is something I can get with, okay? And then, yeah, this is what it looks like if you part it through. The texture of the hair matched my hair perfectly. My hair is just brushed out. Um, this was my hair versus the micro link, so you could see the difference. Like, it's not like, you know, your girl had all this hair. I have hair, but not that much hair. It literally took me two days, well, not a full two days, but it took me the day I was working on it and the following day to finish these because I needed to take a break. My arms were on fire, and it was just a lot. Like. It felt like just a lot of work. So this is my whole head with micro links, front and back. So now, it looks good here because it was like all like frizzy and brushed out and not defined. But as I really started to look at my hair, I was like, uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to cut my hair to match these extensions and not just cut my hair, but also cut the extensions to match my hair because my hair is like somewhat layered, but also like grown out, but I needed to see like the real shape. So I was like, well, first let me wet it and apply product so I can see what I'm working with, so I can see how the curls blend with my hair. It was literally the same texture, but once I started to wet it, you could really see that my hair was just so blunt, and it just wasn't blending, and I was like, oh, I don't like it. It was like, as soon, it was like, as quickly as I liked it, I disliked it. So then I was like, you know what? We gotta give her a cute little cut. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not a hair technician. Girl, I don't know what I be doing half of the time. I just be doing it, you know? And it's my head, and if I gotta walk around looking crazy, at least I could just be mad at myself. But <laughs> I feel like I end up usually figuring it out. I have been cutting my own hair since like, I don't know, forever, literally. Um, so I just started hacking away. So don't necessarily take this for how you're supposed to do things, but more so just watching me try to figure my ish out because I wanted it to look good. I was like, you know what? I'm okay if I don't retain all of the length that I had because although I wanted it to be a, like longer, I wanted it to look good. That was the main goal. <laughs> I wanted it to look good. I don't want it to look, you know, crazy. And it was looking crazy. So I was like, you know what? Let me pull up my Pinterest board. And I looked at some photos of like, you know, the ideal cut that I would like. And I was just trying to mimic that on my hair using, you know, that as inspiration and just kind of going based on what I know. I like layered big curly hair. 
this is what I came up with. I was like, let me go put some more products in it and really define these curls and come back at you. And yeah. You guys, your girl is all done. Oh my God. This literally took me two days to execute. But when I tell you these results, I mean, it's cute as ah! like it's mad cute. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out because for a minute there I was scared, okay? I have very like dense hair and I just feel like it's like a lot in volume, so it's hard for me to get really long extensions to blend just because of the length that it's at right now, maybe when it's a little bit longer. So, you know, we got a little scissor happy, but I'm so, so freaking happy with this result because like it's a little bit longer but it has shape and that's what I needed because like my natural hair had no shape like I definitely needed a cut because my hair grew up from when it was like chin length and now it's like collarbone length so it was kind of just all like one and it wasn't giving but the extensions the micro links added in I just have so much more volume like I literally have a Pinterest board that's like curly afros like big curly just big curly hair and i've wanted a cut like that for a while now so i'm really happy that i was able to achieve it with the micro links like in the back of my head by myself <laughs> like it just looks so freaking bomb i'm so freaking happy this is so cute i kind of wish i had this at the beginning of the summer because i probably would have just had it in for the whole summer but better late than never i'm obsessed it's the hair for me. It's gonna be the hair for me. Curls Queen did that. These curls are bomb. The texture I'll have on the screen, but then also listed down below in the description box with a discount code for you guys. So make sure you check out the description box. Check out Curls Queen. Their hair is bomb. Like literally, <sighs> this texture, this curly texture was perfect. Like literally perfect. Cut me a little bang. Like I've been wanting a curly bang. Oh, ah, I'm so happy, it looks so good, like it looks so good. And then I just like did like a really regular soft glam look. Nothing too crazy. I started wearing eyeshadow again and eyeliner, which is like major for me because there was a solid chunk of time where I was literally not doing any kind of eye look, but I'm loving this. She's very cute. If you guys want like a tutorial, maybe I'll do one for Instagram and TikTok, like Instagram Reels. Make sure you follow me on both of those platforms. I'll have those on the screen. Oh, my final thoughts on microlinks, aside from me absolutely loving the outcome, I think that they're actually easier. The, the actual method of applying the extension to your hair is easier than tape-ins for me. And then also I feel like tape-ins, I don't know, obviously, because I just installed them, what the wear is on the microlinks, so I will keep you guys updated on that. But the tape-ins did rip out some of my hair when I took them out, so hopefully that doesn't happen with this, um, with these microlinks, these eye tips. It was just very tedious, like, honestly, installing the microlinks was so tedious, like, it was so time-consuming. That's pretty much it, but I think it was actually easier for me to do on my own. Like, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do the back of my head, but actually I did it, like, pretty easily. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the tribe, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you in my next upload. Bye!